Hey everyone, uh, I'll make a small uh, demonstration of uh, one of the new features of uh, ManMapper 3.2 which is OSC query. Um, well, you might know that all parameters here of uh, surfaces and of the medias are controllable through uh, computer keyboard, MIDI, DMX, OSC or if I go to the control list dialog, there are also more uh, audio, PlayStation controller, and some other ones. Um, actually, I can control anything like uh, if I want to control with the keyboard the opacity, then I click on the opacity slider after having chosen uh, edit keyboard controls. Then I press the computer keyboard key, and I can change the value of this and all parameters can be uh, controlled the, I mean the control I just created between the key A and uh, the opacity of surface 1 can be controlled with filters and some other parameters like the target range so if I want to change it from 25% uh, to 75% I can do it like this so now when I press A it switches smoothly from 25% to 75%. Um, okay, let's remove my computer keyboard control. Um, now, if I want to use OSC, uh, actually I, I will use uh, Vezer for the demonstration. Uh, Vezer is a timeline application that supports MIDI and OSC in ArtNet as well. Uh, if I want to control the opacity, I can create an opacity uh, track, uh, uh, an OSC value track, assign it to manmapper output, then I enter the, the address of my surface, quad1 slash opacity, and now I can change the value like this, oops, okay, so Vizier is actually sending values to the opacity of sur surface quad1, um, I had to enter this manually. Also, if I want to control the color, I have to choose manually to create an OSC color track and to manually choose color here. And then uh, ah, I can choose a color here. And now I'm, and I have to choose the output map mapper for sure. Oops. Okay. So, um, and the other problem is if I want to control, for instance, uh, the rotate of this, this slider, uh, then I have to enter it manually. Uh, I have to enter first the address manually, which might be quite complicated because it's slash media slash gradient color slash parameters slash and then I don't even know but if I do that then I can see parameters global rotate global rotate okay now I can do that and it will change the value but from 0 to 1 while actually this value should be from 0 to uh, 360 so I have to manually choose here uh, the range of this uh, OSC value track in VZR so that it controls the value from 0 to 360 so th there's a lot of step before getting something to work and actually that's what we want that's what uh, the OSC query protocol addresses uh, so now I will start from scratch again. Um, I take the same setup, restore the normal state of my surface here. And now I will, when I click to add the track in the latest Visa version with the latest ManMapper version from 3.2, I have ManMapper directly here and I can browse through ManMapper addresses. So if I choose here uh, quad one opacity and I double click, it does everything for me. And I add uh, color, color is here, and and I can add also my media uh, gradient color uh, 
global rotate. Okay, so it took me not a long time to uh, add those three things here, and now it's directly affected to my mapper, the address is directly correct, and uh, the value range of uh, rotate is actually 0 to 360. So the, the OSC control application, any OSC control application that supports uh, OSC query protocol, will directly know the value range, the type of channel, and everything uh, from ManMapper. So it makes things much, much easier. So I, I, I did the same setup, but quite fastly now. Oops. I can add another, another quad. Oops, here, yeah, and... Um, quad 2, color, up. And now, and that's it. So you can see values changing here. So that's uh, that's all about uh, ManMapper OSC query. Um, enjoy.